Today I got the privilege to visit one of uh, Serbia's factories that is making e-bikes. Uh, these are highly personalized e-bikes for delivery services, cargo bikes and soon to be serial production bikes. So I have the privilege to visit e-prime. Uh, this is the first time these guys allowed anybody in their factory to uh, take video of their production process. Uh, so I hope it, you will find it exciting and that uh, you will find something insightful from this video. So see you in Belgrade in a couple of hours. Again, I arrived to Belgrade to the E Prime Bikes factory. First, I'm going to visit the production to show you how the bikes are made, how the e bikes are made, and then I'm going to show you the models that are produced here and what are their special features. So, let's go to the factory now. So, here we are. This is the first step in bike production it is the production of the frame. So as you know, for all e-bikes, you have to have a specialized frame so you can fit the battery and all the electronics inside. So here you will see the tubing for the frames, how it all starts, and then afterwards it is going to cutting, painting, and everything else. So here you will see the first step in treating of the tubing. This is the cutting. So here you will see the, the tubes that are cut out for size, these are the ones that are used for batteries and uh, this is the machine that is used for, for doing so. This is a process of cutting the tube, it has to be lubricated for cooling and it will be As a part of the process of preparation for welding, sometimes you have to sandblast the, the tubing and then take off the grease of the tubes so you can be able to weld in a correct way and afterwards to do the painting as well. So this is a sandblasting machine. Now what's very interesting with this company is that they do not depend on the forged alloy parts like dropouts and parts for the frame. They use the CNC machine for the uh, for making them by themselves. So they are really independent of the Chinese suppliers of forged aluminum parts. So this is their CNC machine, which is used for making these parts. And uh, they, can, they can do, let's say, from uh, one piece of material, which looks like, like basically like a, like a cut uh, part of the tubing, to the finished product, like, like this one, with the, with the poles inside and the special compartment for the electronics. So this is already finished for well. Here you will find the stock of all the prepared tubing for welding. This is all cut down to size, the dropouts. The... Now this is where the magic happens. This is where all the tubing comes together into a frame. So. We have a tool where all the tubing is set together, together with the dropout here, and it is being welded on one place. So here for each bike, you will have a separate tool like there and here. Here is the finished product, which is welded here together. Now before painting, frame has to go uh, through a chemical treatment. There are three steps for treating the frames so that the paint will be applied in a correct manner. So next step, when the frame is clean, we have to uh, do powder coating. So painting is next. Powder coating after first layer of paint is, is set, then it goes to the oven where it's heat treated. So the paint sticks on the frame. Afterwards, you, you apply stickers and then an, another additional clear coat of paint and then again uh, the frame goes into the oven and then the paint job is finished. 
like just a simple explanation of the paint process. So you have here you will see the frames which are ready to be customized for customers. These are blank frames ready for application of stickers and then they will go into the production process. Then you have a cutter machine which uh, cuts the stickers down to size. If you need a specific design, then this machine cuts the stickers according to the design. Designer prepares the, the printout layout and then cutter cuts out the sticker and you can apply it on the frame right away. With this you can have Highly customizable bikes, let's say with uh, customers coming and you can have them specialized, you have special stickers and design just for, for their business. This is already framed with the applied stickers on it and it is waiting for a something afterwards. This step is for making the plastic parts for better effects and it's grinding down to a certain measure depending on the size of the battery and how many cells will be inside. So first they fix a sheet of plastics, plastic on it and then start running away to special measures. This is nickel cutting machine. It cuts the nickel strips down to size. This is a special treat we have here, 1.2 kilowatt hour. Together with every battery, you must have a battery management system, otherwise it will not work. Also important process after finishing assembly of battery is battery testing. And here we have the machine that does this process. And this is the finished product. Battery complete with the casing ready to be assembled on the bicycle. Here you will see the pre-assembled handlebars prepared for the assembly line and they are all with all the electronics, the brake levers, shifting levers already prepared to be applied on the bicycle. Now this is how you press in the cups. Another step is preparation of wheels. So here you lace the wheels, the rims, uh, and uh, put on the tires, and they go then to the assembly line. So this assembly line is uh, specialized for specific orders for customized bicycles. So it is being done not on track. It's, it's not been done on track. It is individual assembly of the bikes on the stands. Here are the oh, prepared frames already with the stickers and which are specialized. Here are the instructions on the wall on how to proceed with each step for the workers which is very good to have the stability of process and the finished bikes are here. And in the end you have to have quality control to be sure that everything works perfectly before it is packed and shipped to the customers. Let's look at this. This is specially customized for delivery services. It is branded with their logo and it has huge 1.2 kilowatt hour battery to last for maybe 200, 220 kilometers range. And there you go, it's simple as that. It's really good system, which works 
very well and for a long time. One interesting project was a specially made bicycle for the police department. So our cops can catch criminals in a sustainable way. And it has final step is the packing of the bicycle. Inside is a bicycle that is almost fully assembled it is, and it is ready to be shipped to the end user. So all you need to do afterwards is take the bicycle out of the box, turn the handlebar around and put the pedals on and you're set to go.